Hi, I'm Margarita, and this video is about how I um, recycled this old cork board, um, one just like it, into looking like it's brand new using some craft foam and glue. That was it. Uh, the big deal was measuring the size of the craft foam and fitting it out to the size of the cork board and then the glue. Um, I used carpenter's glue, but that's because that was the first thing I saw. Um, I'm sure you could use almost any craft glue because it's cork. It'll glue, anything will glue to it. So gluing the back side of the foam, slapping it on there. I used magazines and heavy books, laid it down flat for um, overnight. And in the morning, I had a brand new, gorgeous cork board. You can see mine over here. It's got all kinds of stuff stuck to it. And, and that's what I really love, having uh, my inspiration pieces, photo of my granddaughter, things like that, up in front of where I work and write and, and do my projects. Um, I just love stuff like that. So I'm going to go step by step and make this one up, just like I made that one. So the first thing I did was take out all the um, pins and any staples, anything odd, you know, run your hand over the surface. And if you want to, if, if there's really big bumps or anything like that, you could sand it down a little bit. Um, most of the stuff I can take out with my fingernails, but you could use a small screwdriver if you wanted to. And then the fun part, and you can get the kids to help you with this part too, is figuring out how the colors fit. Um, you might want to make yourself a, a patchwork of pieces. And um, this is exactly what happened on the other one. I wanted it to turn, so I ended up cutting the foam, which it's meant to be cut. You know, just use scissors or an, a rotary cutter with an old blade or something like that. And make your pieces all fit. So this is the same thing that happened with the other one as well. I needed to fill this gap on the end. And you can try. It's, a, it's just like a puzzle piece. See what works for you and get a layout that you like with the colors and the colors where you want. So I didn't want pink next to pink, things like that. Um, and find out how they all fit. Just have some fun. Take your time, have some fun. Don't start gluing yet. Just play with your placement and, and layout. So I'm using an old blade on my rotary cutter and cutting the foam into three inch squares just for the heck of it. Uh, the biggest problem I'm having is that the foam sticks to the ruler. So I keep one hand on the foam while I'm moving the ruler around. And since this is six inches wide, just line it up here. And I've already made one cut the long way. The foam squares that I have are six inches by nine inches. So it's pretty easy to cut them up into um, three inch squares. Now as soon as I lift this ruler, the foam sticks to it. So I kind of have to line it up each time, no big deal. It's not rocket science, it's just fun. There we go, holding that while I position my ruler. Get this out of the way, and you can see I'm just I'm just grabbing um, and throwing any color anywhere, and not being too fussy about making sure that they fit because we're going to be moving all of these, flipping each one over, putting some glue on it, and sticking it back down again. So they're going to get bumped all over the place. So just give yourself a general layout and, um, you know, <laughs> treat it like a, treat it like a jigsaw puzzle maybe and have some fun with it. So I looked a little harder this time and came up with some Elmer's glue and um, I've got my squares now. I still have this edge. There's a one inch gap all the way around the outside here. I'm not gonna cut the pieces for that yet. First, I'm gonna glue the big pieces. Then I'll come back and fill in around the edges with foam cut just to that size. So start in one corner. 
and you can actually glue this the forms the same on both sides so turn it over is kind of silly but I did it glue around the edges just like that and then put it back okay and just keep going now I am going to keep lifting these off because I can see that on the back some of bits of the cork board have come off so they're a little bit dirty so I'll keep the clean side up and I think I'll just go row by row I think that'll keep me fairly well organized well you know how it is I changed my mind about fitting in all the pieces around the edges instead I started cutting bits um, one and a quarter is what I needed so I think I'll slide a few in like this so I went ahead and cut my um, fill-in bits that I originally said were going to go around the edge. I decided I didn't want to do that. So what I'm doing now is going here. I've done this row and I've done all of these. Each one of these rows this way will need a filler this way and it will also need a filler this way. So I'm kind of working my way this way now and then doing a, one row here, one row here, just like that. So I pushed everything off to the side so that I could fit them in as I go. So keep moving. It's going actually pretty fast. A little bit of extra glue, sloppiness, no big deal. It's all going to get covered up. So here's my brand new patchwork cork board, recycled and ready to use. Um, I absolutely love it. It took maybe an hour or so cutting the foam, gluing, fitting the bits and pieces in and of course you watched me go through all the changes that I made from when I started the video thinking I knew what I was doing. Isn't that always the way it goes? So if you like this video would you consider sharing it with your friends? Just send them a link. It's in the uh, the little buttons below on YouTube and check out some of my other videos. You might find something there that you like and if you do like them I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll put a link up how about right up here somewhere? Thanks so very much for watching. I'm Margarita and I'll see you next time.